an advanced kinetic simulation tool for resistive memories, known as valence change memories, has been developed at the University of Granada, Spain. The devices have been fabricated and measured at the Institute of Microelectronics of Barcelona, Spain. The fabrication process started with P-type Shukralski silicon wafers. After a standard wafer cleaning, a wet thermal oxidation process was performed at 1,100 degrees centigrade, leading to a silicon oxide layer 200 nanometers thick. Then, a 200 nanometer tungsten layer was deposited by magnetron sputtering and patterned by photolithography and dry etching. A 10 nanometer hafnium oxide layer was deposited by atomic layer deposition, known as ALD, at 225 degrees centigrade. This will be the resistive switching layer where the conductive filaments are formed and ruptured. We have used tetrakis dimethylamino hafnium, TDMAH, and water as precursors. Nitrogen was employed as carrier and purge gas. The top electrode, consisting of a 200 nanometer titanium nitride on a 10 nanometer titanium layer as oxygen getter material, was deposited by magnetron sputtering and patterned by photolithography and liftoff. Finally, contact windows to the bottom electrode were opened by dry etching of the hafnium oxide layer to allow electrical contact to the bottom electrode. The current versus voltage measurements were performed using a semiconductor parameter analyzer. The voltage was applied to the top electrode while the bottom electrode was grounded. A three-dimensional grid is employed to simulate the device using a kinetic Monte Carlo algorithm. The mesh cell size corresponds with the size of an oxygen vacancy. The three-dimensional Poisson and heat equations are solved self-consistently in the dielectric for each simulation step, using both Dirichlet and Neumann boundary conditions. Grain boundaries have been considered within the simulation domain. In this region, the activation energy for the Frenkel pair generation, this is, the oxygen vacancies and oxygen ions generation, is lower than in the rest of the dielectric. The simulation starts with the forming process. The dielectric is in its pristine state. An electric field is applied under ramped voltage stress and oxygen vacancies are generated in the dielectric, represented as red balls. The oxygen ions drift towards the top electrode and accumulate in the titanium layer. When the oxygen vacancies density is high, a percolation path can be formed. The forming process is completed. For the reset process, the electric field is reversed and the oxygen ions drift back towards the bottom electrode. In this case, oxygen vacancies and ions recombine and the percolation path is ruptured. This process depends on the electric field magnitude and the temperature in the filament, which rises due to dual heating effects, fostering all the processes. The set process resembles the forming process, Although the dielectric is not in the pristine state, the conductive filament remnants of the previous reset process are the starting point. A set voltage, lower than the forming voltage, is obtained. We considered in our calculations the virtual electrodes corresponding to the filament parts in contact with the metal electrodes. We can also simulate the devices under pulsed input signals as it is the case in memory circuits. Under this operation regime, resistive switching can also be obtained. See how the measured current is correctly reproduced with simulation results. Set and reset processes 
are performed with the positive and negative parts of the input voltage signal. An interesting effect can be observed both from the experimental and simulation viewpoint when pulsed operation is employed. A partial set can occur within a reset process. This is based on the competition between the generation of new vacancies, which depends on the magnitude of the electric field but not on the field direction, and the recombination of vacancies with ions coming from the titanium layer. A reset process is performed here but at certain times, a percolation path is formed and for a short time, a set process takes place. Later on, the filament is destroyed and the reset process goes on. <laughs>